Hello, welcome back to Elden Ring. It's me, Apristian, and... Cold Run. And here we are in a lovely sunset in Limgrave. I'm... This is something, I'm not gonna lie, this is something that drew me to Elden Ring uh, because it's something that I didn't really like in the other Souls games I saw. They seem brown. Gray mm. and brown and maybe dark green, and this game has some color in it, and I really love that. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. It's just, it's so pretty. It's great. Okay. Agreed. So, um, yeah, I am off to this new section of Limgrave, hopefully. Oh, this might not be the way. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, that beacon is where I believe the map will be based on the fact that there's like a monument there that I can barely see in the fog. But I'm probably going to have to take an actual road. <laughs> mm. um, in the meantime, oh. though... Oh! What is this? Hello? Oh, sapling, sweet slapping, sapling of glorious gold. Has your crystal teardrop ripened? So that, the teardrops from the trees are what go in the flask. Yes. You know, I wonder if that will be the misty wood. Mm. Mm. It does look misty and wooden. Right? Right? Okay. But um, while I'm traveling, we were going to talk about spells and their possible uses. And you had an idea or suggestion for um, the stars? Because the thing is... The best use I had come up for it was hitting a guy with a shield, right? To kind of stagger him. But now, I have that ambush shard. I can hit yeah. guys from behind if they have shields. I don't need stars. So I'm wondering if you have a different suggestion. Something you've I seen do not. or... I can, certainly, I, was, I can certainly check for one. I wasn't sure if you, if you had one yet. Because I think cause we were talking about like in a meta way like where when would it be fun or useful to look up something about a spell if we're finding it not if we're not finding it useful because i think you want to give it the old college try first like it's more yeah, fun exactly. that you found this the ambush sorcery method than like if uh -huh. i just told you do it against shields right um, right and so yeah i think once you're if you i think once you feel like i don't know what to use this for i've tried it and i don't see a purpose like i can at that point check into yeah like, i think i'd like you to with the stars because i have okay. used it and i it costs about the same as pebble it does about the same as pebble i don't really see the point of it um okay. i will check into that I thought maybe it was going to be one of the, uh... I 100% thought was sure that was Ash, a, uh, a scarab. Scarab thing, yeah. No, okay. Ah, uh, well, back to the grace point. Um... Yeah, now, I did get a new magic spell that I haven't tried out yet. And you want to look, what's the description for it? That was totally the, uh... the wrong button. <laughs> Ooh... Oh. Hey. I'll look at the description. I just have to antagonize a couple guys first. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. So not maybe the smartest spell, because it, you know, but this guy wasn't antagonistic, so maybe that's why. Because before it did split between multiple targets. Oh, mm. I'm going to have fun with that one. And you can, like, set in it advance. Like, if you want to hit something with swords or something, uh -huh. like, you can... That's oh. that's a neat little preparation kind of thing, too. That's going to be a fun one. Oh, and you see the, this, uh, the name of your... The grease point you found? No. 
Does the name even show up here? I've never... Oh, Mistwood Outskirts. Hey, I called it. Called it. So that was Glint Blade uh, Phalanx? 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 I don't know. Okay. Something it's like Glint that, Blade yes. Something. I think I'm down enough into the thing to go for the thing, but I don't really want to do it at night if it's already misty. Hmm. Let's pass the time until morning. <laughs> You're a morning person. That's right. Like real life? Are you a morning person in real life? Uh, fairly. I get up at seven every morning because otherwise the cats revolt. And that Animals help well you be a morning a person. Yeah. Okay, so this is saying I can bring out... Oh, you know what? I should put this on my... Oh, that's like a gorilla. Okay, just a second, just a second. That is cool. The look of you just kind of riding through the mist with a lantern on. Right. Like, illuminating the fog. That's a pretty badass image. It is. I'm going to put my lantern here next to my telescope because mm. it's the kind of I have thing the same thing yeah i need it sometimes speaking of telescopes yeah <laughs> oh it's like bear gorilla yeah like gorilla body but bear head oh and it's guarding some shiny things whoops Watch it be like shattered glass. Yeah, probably. <laughs> glass shards, whatever. Oh, there's some another one deeper in there, like scratching at the tree. That's kind of adorable. It is. Shit. It saw me. <gasps> oh my god! I did like no damage. Is it like a rune bear? I think it is. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Just gonna go this way now. <laughs> Just gonna skirt around the bear for a little bit. Yeah. God. Okay. Oh! Another shiny staff as well. Oh, yeah. One of those ghost candelabra things. Yeah. I want to see what that does, but I really want the map. Hmm. Put a beacon here to remind me. Hopefully, the beacon didn't go away because it was right where you were. Oh, God. Oh, it did. <laughs> uh, good enough. <laughs> ah! No! You're a little bear, but I still don't like it. <laughs> pick up item. Pick up item. Pick up. Thank you. Okay, I got I'm the map. Beast. Okay. Hi, dear. A new map has been found. Okay, wow. Okay, so another tree. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Some kind of building here. Is this this is whatever this is. Another. I was thing gonna say here. it looked like an Everjail, but it's just that's just because it's a circle. There's probably other uses for circles in the game. Yes, the Everjails are are darker gray. They're a different shape. Okay, so there's, there's, I mean, there's some stuff to check out for sure. Oops, okay, so apparently I'm not good at... Alright. Well, let's do this first, because we're here. Yeah. See out for River Well. Okay, well, I see a lever here. It's not letting me touch it. Sinks? Basins? 
Elevator. This is fine. Yeah. This is probably fine. Oh, this is... They said a well, but oh my god. It's a deep well. Holy cow, it keeps going. Whoa. What? What? Holy shit. It's still going. <gasps> wow. This is incredible. <laughs> I love it. I love like I live for shit like this. It's quite a like, reveal. It, there's something just so cool to me about a massive underground place and then with the architecture. Oh, oh, Agreed. I mean this is oh, this is cool. Is it the undergroundness? Is it the color palette? What is it that uh is all of it. All, all of it. That. The whole like thing. The, the sense of being, like, you know you're underground, but you're also in a huge space is just so cool to me. I love it. It's one of the things I love mm. when they do it in Destiny. Um, and they do it really well. Oh, and so this is these monuments. This, uh, the... the... Grace Point was the Shafra River Well Depths, or however you pronounce it, the Shafra River Well Depths. Okay. Oh, do kiss herbs. Oh, I need those um, to make some of the healing things that I haven't been able to make. Yeah, and this is a new item, definitely a new item. Yeah, let's take it. Oh, there was something else I was going to look at. The spell. The phalanx. Yeah. Okay, so before I get too deep. Okay, a herb that grows in the false night in and around the eternal city. Soaked in arcane dew, it gives off the faint glow of starlight. Oh, my mind is just blown. If this is, like, adjacent to the eternal city, which I've been like, oh, that's, like, in space. And in instead it's <laughs> underground. Holy shit. Incredible. Because Incredible. There's... As I'm looking at the, the little notes, so there, it came up twice so far, the Eternal City. So it was mm -hmm. one, the memory stone you got said a black moon once hung over the Eternal City. And the starlight shards that recover FP for you are once used as, used for intoxicating drafts in the Eternal City, in the, in, internal, in the Eternal City. Right. And I've been like associated with space because it was like star yeah. stuff and gravity stuff. But here we are underground... So gravity also still makes sense. And it's got like that false star sky. Yes. Oh. Yep. That's a nice little twist. This is incredible. Okay. One of the sorceries of the Carrion Royal family creates a defensive arch of magic glint blades overhead, which automatically attack nearby foes. The sorcery can only be cast while in motion. Oh, I didn't notice that. Bestowed upon the enchanted Carrion Knights, who combined this art with their swordsmanship to maintain pressure upon their foes, striking waves of steel and sorcery. Okay, so the Academy are the aqua ones, the Carrion ones are the lighter blue, and then the Celia ones are this darker blue. Yes, I think that's Seems right. Seems to be. Yeah. And they're even divided, like, this is divided by type, I think, right? This is, yeah. like, because this isn't recently acquired. They almost have their own uh, little row sections, don't they? Right. Very and interesting. And so Carrion came up for you once before with the telescope description, I think. Okay, I was like, I know I've heard that before. So it was the Carrion family telescope. Yeah, it was like some, it was somehow, the Carrion family was somehow associated with astrology. And apparently knights and swordsmanship. Mm. Oh. oh, is this a, this is a stone crown guy? Yeah. 
I forget. Oh, that's annoying how the, the light goes away. The light goes away, yeah. Yeah. But he's got the stone crown. Okay. Is this shallow enough water? Ghost glove work. Usually I only find that in the catacombs. I know, it's like there's... There's that whole area, and then I'm just, like, a little bit nervous about it, so I'm skirting the edges and grabbing stuff I see mm. out here instead. But I want to grab it anyways. So far, nobody's come out to attack me. Oh, melted mushroom. A mushroom that grows in the false night in and around the Eternal City. It drips with viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. Ew. That sounds gross. It does. Silver firefly. There's a little camp here. Yeah. Next to, like, these castle walls, which is interesting. Could you look up again? I'm just, I, it's nothing new. I just, I'm, I love seeing the, I wasn't sure if, uh, how much is visible here. Just the, the color palette here, I'm just such a huge fan of. Oh, I love the blues and then blue. the oranges in contrast. Yeah. So good. Yeah, I think I'll be able to see better from down here. Almost see, like, the rock into, like, uh... And just that false starry night that I, I was seeing. Yeah, that twinkling cave top or whatever it was. Yeah. Okay. I w oh, there's more up here. Enemies. Starting to get some enemies. That's a few. Yeah. Maybe I'll see what's up here first. Oh, come on. Because there was an item up on top of that wall. <laughs> yeah, so scope out as much as you can safely before combat. Yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah. Makes sense. Which means I'm probably going to, yeah, start running into dudes. It's okay. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh-oh. Welp. That's a sign. That maybe I'm a little underleveled for this area. <laughs> I think it's a fair initial initial conclusion after that first enemy. Right. Okay. All right. And they could that... be they could be just resistant to magic, but it's not like you have a lot of other right. I guess main I options at the moment. I can try my sword, but I'm not anticipating much. I'm having trouble getting that chest bump off of people who aren't the skeletons. These oh, guys breaking their posture? Slow. Yeah, the, they're slow. They're slow enough that you could potentially, these are the type of creatures you could yeah. potentially get a backstab on even when in combat. Right, which I'm kind of... Have but it's hardly uh, attempting, but like, oof, I don't know. I well, feel like, like, like an is... actual backstab, like a backstab. Oh, backstab. gotcha, gotcha. You know. Yeah. I get this. I'm gonna get these two down, but it feels like it's maybe not worth. Like, they don't feel that dangerous just because they're so slow. Shit. 
but like I, it'll take me so long to get through them. I'm thinking that 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 person, I, the person whose tweet basically said, if you can't kill an enemy in like two, a, a normal enemy in like two or three hits yeah. at most, like it's probably worth. That's the sign, but. Yep, yep. I'm just gonna see if I can grab this item that's up here. Yeah, they're slow enough. You could do a drive-bys, yeah. Right? Drive-by looting. Exactly. Ooh, rank four. Wow. Well, since I Another don't have any rank Another good sign about the level, of, <laughs> the level of area you're approaching. Yeah. I don't have that many runes. Okay, lose interest in me, lose interest. It's not a big deal. There was one more thing there. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, kind of slow plotting stabbers. <laughs> Wonder how much time it takes for them to lose interest. Probably more than I've given it, but I'm a little bit imp impatient. Yeah. Okay, and then I see another one up there, and that is too much. I'm not. I'm not gonna get greedy. They are. They look. It looks like stone that has been, like, deposited by aeons of water, you know? Like, kind of The that, enemies? Yeah, that kind of lumpy yeah. stone kind of look. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, there's a rank three. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I know I can just teleport in, but, um, I might take the, <laughs> I might take the elevator back just to see it. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice scenic, it's, it's a very, it's an actual scenic route. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, and I, look at the, I didn't even notice that. The, like the, the pulleys pulling the, pulling the mm -hmm. elevator up. Mm-hmm. Are like, I don't know what the starlight or something. I don't know, but it general I mean, it feels magic. Like, yeah, it feels like the glintstone magic, like color wise. But they've got yeah. the sparklies in it. Oh, look at that! The stars. Oh, and they're just hanging in the air. Yeah. Oh, so it's not just so like cool. minerals on the ceiling. There's mm -hmm. like something. It's an actual created false starlight. Yeah. That is like the coolest discovery. <laughs> I love Welcome it. Welcome to Eastern Limgrave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, you get a new. Th I'll. You'll actually. You might see when you if you go to your map. Okay. Let me pop out. Um, oh, I can. There's can't. a new option. R three. Oh, show underground. Whoa. Okay. So that's how I get back there. Yeah. That makes sense. So it's like all grayed out, essentially. You're just seeing the, the, the yeah. top overlay, but yeah. Oh my god, this revealed... I hadn't even noticed... But now I have some of this. This has got to be like Kaled Rotland stuff. Right, because just to the east is the is the um, mm -hmm. like that's the that's where you were where you got trapped yeah. and teleported to. So yeah, that's the yep. that section. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And it shows the finger reader crone over there, which is interesting. Yeah, maybe it showed this her ain't, maybe early a different one. Because it showed her, it showed her um, initially, like either. Because usually you have to like get to an NPC to see them, but I guess for her, she's 
Yeah, because that one is up. the same one that the NPC marker showed up over here, and you saw yeah. it before I did. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. And so cool, I don't cool. know whether that's like multiple finger readers or whether it's like some sorceress selling shenanigans going on or what. Right. I see oh, look bear. at that bear. Yeah. He's scratching it out, scratching it uh, out. Oh, that's incredible. And I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> oh, so you did get an item. You got the um, oh. the Eastern Limgrave map if you want to look at that. I do want to look at that. Is that not? I think it's a key. Ah. Uh, oh. For fuck's sake. Come on, yeah, bears. It must have smelled of dew kissed honey or something. Yep. Just trying to get in my menu. I feel a little bad about this, but I need to get in my menu, my dear. Alright. Lump of flesh. Delightful. Okay, so key items. Limgrave East. Okay. Uh, nope. Yep. Yep. Other than the Mistwood, which envelops the south, it is known for its lands which read to re which lead to Kaled, a path trod by many a soldier in the past. That makes sense. So I was right about that. Oh, yep. now. What's the note? The thing that. Tells me about the Mistwood. Oh, yeah, it was the Flask of Wondrous Physic note. Oh, still remains in the Third Church of America, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Oh, so I bet I know where that is now, right? This is the highway bridge. Hmm. That's really far north. Maybe they mean here. Just any right, because they're just to the look... east of, uh, to the, or to the west of all that, rather. Um, there's yeah. another. There was that other bridge. Maybe that's the highway bridge too. This maybe could be a church. This maybe could be a church. Yeah. This maybe is it, though, because look. Oh, yeah, cross the highway bridge, animal path. It's this one. That's got to mm. be it. These others look interesting, but, um, and I will get to them. And in fact, but first, where did my weird glowy staff go? Let's see what this brings us. Okay. Here they go. Yep, and they're off. I love the little footprints. Just don't lead me straight into a bear, please. I don't think ghosts have to worry about bears. Uh, I have to worry about bears. I'm amused at all the gold-tinged excrement on the path. It reminds me very much of... If you've ever been on a path like that people ride horses on. Mm. And then there's always like clumps of manure on the path. Yeah. Ooh, there's an item right there. I thought you could safely get that without any uh, <laughs> I thought you were my friend. Boy, were you mistaken, apparently. <laughs> I would probably choose your well-being over a funny death, but it would be like 50-50. It would be like a toss-up. <laughs> There's so many bears around that I just constantly am able to summon. I guess not anymore, but. Oh, 
I like these though, like the um this one's further afield than the other one would have been. But it's like they're like, look, we we want you to find this thing, and so we're gonna give you some help to find the thing. The thing being like whatever this that goes right, leading whatever me to. this guy's leading yeah. me to. Oh, mm hmm. Yeah, you're eating steak. Okay, here we are. Mistwood ruins. Oh, there's someone here. Somebody, blade the half wolf. Blythe the half wolf. Blythe. Is this shit? <laughs> well, I thought it might be somebody nice to yeah. talk to. Maybe it's nice, but probably not. Shit. Beep. Jesus, buddy, these ruins—they are your home. You should take care of them. Okay. Well, this place exists. The bear in it. And it do. The fuck. That was underhanded. I think it was an overhand that he landed. <laughs> Living stones. Oh, I hear somebody howling. Hmm. Is there like a downstairs, maybe? I'm kind of hoping there's just some place I can run downstairs and meet up with my howling half wolf friend and not have to fight the big ol' bear. And that's probably not what's happening. But I can I can have hopes. Hopes, dreams. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best thing. And no good thing ever dies. <laughs> oh, I did so little damage. Oh, it does bleeding. Something horrible. Oh. Horrible. Dodging pretty well here. Okay, it doesn't want to come here. The best fights are the cheesiest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No. No, Warthog. I'm busy. It's almost getting out of range of Aurelia there. Okay, I'm not... can't dodge that. Okay. It seems like it hit, like, a some kind of wall where it's just ranging. Just yep. I'll be fine by you. Yep. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Better than. But you'd rather. Oh, what was that? Oh god, I thought that was. I thought you got blood lost or something. That was just. No, Aurelia's that color. was Aurelia's attack. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll take it. It's cheesy, but I'll take it. Beast blood. Yeah. Hey, there is a downstairs. There is. Okay. Whew. Oh. Ooh, treasure. If this. Okay. Axe talisman. Okay. Oh, that's good. I was going to say if this teleports <laughs> me somewhere. Every to the treasure land of chest the bears. is suspect. <laughs> 
Um. Where's my dude? My NPC friend. I don't know if their exact thing is on the map is exactly where they are. I doubt it. Maybe. That underground was like nothing. But, and I hear the howling, the howling, and it said half wolf, so I assume that's my friend howling. Hmm. I assume maybe it's not, I guess. But are they up? Are they up? It doesn't sound up. And I'm not sure how I would get up. Okay, am I just being a complete dunkus about this? No. Okay. This is what I call a bullshit puzzle. Oh. Oh. What do I need to attack? <laughs> it's it's worse. Oh no. Um worse than attacking. Yes. Um, as I continue to attack things. Okay, the only let's see. Hello. And <laughs> that's a good idea. I oh God, I wish that were. Oh my God! Now I'm really sad. That's not the actual. I know, right? Okay. Huh. The problem is, it doesn't feel like a puzzle, except that there's someone mm. I can't hear. It's not so much puzzle as just there's the way to find them. It's not like okay. there's secret stones you push. It's just. This is... I didn't solve this in my play. I didn't find the guy in my playthrough. I... Mm. Did you look it up so you know where he is? I looked it up later, know? yeah. Okay. Hmm. And I have rage in my heart for this game for that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> huh. Okay. Let me try... Once it, he's, he's so lonely. The poor puppo. That's he not a hint. I'm just, I'm just. Right. He's just. I don't know. I like. He's. I, I spend so long just wandering the ruins, trying to find the the howling and. Yep. I used emotes. I did all the things. Right. I did not do the prattling. Play paid hello, and I feel. <laughs> oh, I'm. That Back was messed. Down here again. So he's not here for sure. Is he outside of the runes? I wonder. Nothing over there but a bear. I'm like, God damn it, I killed this bear. I defeated the bear. Mm. I can't bring out my wolves because I already have my jellyfish out and they wouldn't let me bring them out anyways at this point. You know, maybe wolves can find wolves. I don't know. All right, I, I give up. I have no it's, idea. I can't believe I'm going to say this. To to find the wolf, you go back to Limgrave, you teleport to Merchant Kale and talk to Merchant Kale. Oh, look, up there. Look at him. But that's how I get him down. He was up. I thought he might be up. I just didn't see him. Oh, look at him okay. right there. Okay. But in order to communicate, I need to go back to Kale. 
Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping that you'd be able to find something. I because I've looked up how do you know that? Like I've looked yeah. up how you're supposed to figure that. I was hoping there'd be some clue, some note that says like my friend right? Kale or or Kale will know how to talk to me or something. But I like does Kale have a a note that says like there was I... no prior dialogue about it. He was the one who gave you the 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 physic note, but I think that's it. Yeah. To purchase anything. Well, I need to talk to you about the howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf in the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Finger snap. Yeah. I am going to take a quick look. Um, I couldn't remember what he sold, if there was anything. Oh, that's him. That's neat. What, the chain leggings? No, the uh, cookbook. Yeah, I was thinking I might go ahead and just get this. I think it's for arrows. And I don't Going currently have bumble. anything for mm. arrows, but I could conceivably in the future. But then if I do, I'll come back and buy it. So maybe I won't. Yeah. Okay. So my the best guess I have is that maybe they were expecting people to travel between Western Limgrave and Eastern Limgrave super early. Oh, and yeah. And like maybe they were expecting you to make regular trips back here to use the blacksmith or to sell to the merchant or something. And so they yeah. assume that as you talked to it, but I, that, I don't know. Yeah, that's a, oof. yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. Okay. Oh, I don't even have a fast way. I'll have to go here. Mm -hmm. Past all the bears. All the bears minus one, at least. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah, I hope that bear doesn't respawn. Oh, I hope so. Or I'm in... Well, I'd say I'm in big trouble, but honestly, I would just cheese him again. <laughs> I think the bears are like the golems, like the, the, the golems where they're just so giant and I, I feel yeah, like they're... Yeah, they're like mini bosses, right? So they just show up think for so, one yeah. time. I mean, literally, one was a one was a boss. I think, yeah. Anything yeah, yeah. The is one actually the a, thing boss, is a boss. I feel like but here they're like mini bosses when they're out in the open. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't fast oh. enough. Oh. Tempting though to try that again. Then beast bones. Oh, it's nighttime. Dudes are out. Okay. Well, if I ever need gold tinged excrement, I know where to go. Yeah. Oh, oh motherfucker. <laughs> okay. It is sleeping. It is sleeping. We shall let sleeping bears lie. Nothing lets it, sl lets it lie quite as well as snapping loudly to draw someone's attention. <laughs> it's going to be great. Okay, I think I'm down here. Let's go fully Emmett Selk here. <laughs> oh, look at you! Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. Yes. Or so I've heard. Come and tell me if you find him before I do. Oh, I have a hundred percent found him. I have a hundred percent found him. He's nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. No problem, my dude. Is nothing but a traitor. Nice, good. I've been antsy to get back to Darrowell. Um, because mm. I feel like I I better equipped now, like literally and through practice and more exposure to the yeah. game. Yeah. So. Yeah, better equipped on all fronts. Okay, I will do that. But first, I want to get this wondrous flask. So, 
so let's see. Up here, I need to go back. Here's the crossroads. Okay. Mm. And I have never seen. Uh, I I have not seen Blythe uh, Blythe there. I've not. I've never like I. I just never got that. So I'm. It's cool to see. Yeah. I like his voice actor and everything. Right. Kind of. Yeah, I'm glad Tell you me. went ahead and told me. I would never. And and like most of the time, I try to avoid stuff kind of like that. Like I want to figure it out as best I can. But like there, are, there are limits when the game is giving you something so random with no hints. I just don't see how you're supposed to possibly ever figure yeah. that out. Yeah, yeah, unless you happen to stumble on it by being like, oh yeah, I'll go talk to this dude again, and then you're like, oh, that's how. But that's not that's not a fun discovery. That's a random, you know? It's not yeah. like you suss it out and figure it out. You just randomly happen upon it. And I don't think there's like, because like with the um, with the mausoleum, with the wandering mausoleum, like if you hadn't figured it out, there was like a merchant nearby with a hint. Like right. this, I I don't, I haven't, I've looked it up. I've looked up to see it. It's hard to, I don't know what to Google, but I couldn't find anything that's like the start of, uh, to find Blythe first, uh, you know, read the, read the, you know, look at the note uh, in the, at the foot of the tower or right. something. And there's nothing I it just feels random to me okay I assume this is my this is artist shack shoot that's not the what did church. you just get did you just I, get something? I, I got like a smithing stone no I was convinced this would be the church but it's an artist shack yeah and it's not a church god damn it I mean there's a painting here I'm gonna examine hmm homing instinct painting can I put this painting in the round table hold? Can oh, I? I don't know. I put the art on my walls like it's it's <laughs> it's in your inventory as like a tut under the tutorials, like under those notes sort of things now. Reminiscent of the painting Homing Instinct. This painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and the vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Oh, so it's like a treasure map kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. That's really cool, actually, but it's not what I thought it would be. No. Okay, so let me look at this one. Here's a bridge. I don't see animal trails going north. Okay, well, the other structures, because it said north of the wood. These look just like ruins, but I could check. I'll check this. Mm. And I will check up here, um, mm. I guess. All right. <laughs> All places you'll probably want to check out in the end anyway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. How are you on time, by the way? Uh, that's probably pretty good for this episode. So, um, yeah. So we can go ahead and end here. And next time I will do some combination of looking for this flask and or fighting Darawell. <laughs> That is the plan. All right. We'll catch you all the next time. Bye. Bye-bye.